Welcome! We're going to do a little KDN Live tutorial and we're going to make an old TV effect with basic functions of KDN Live. So first of all, let's drag in our clip that we want to give this effect. We're going to cut off a little. This is just a fake programming. So it's uh, when we play this back, we just see it's code moving upwards and we're going to pretend that it's uh, shown on an old CRT screen with our effect. So the first thing we want to do is just go to the effects list and search for noise and we want to use RGB noise on our clip and I think this is a bit heavy so I would recommend to reduce this to 0 0.05 of course you can keep it higher if you want uh, to, over to go overboard with it it's totally up to you so this is a good start actually, but we want to uh, go a bit further. So we're going to add a scan line kind of thing, which will go down uh, from from up to down and up and again. So it will scroll. And what we have to do is add a add a clip and specifically a title clip. And here is our editor, and we're going to go ahead and create a rectangle. This rectangle should be uh, white with transparent color. So fill color, you set it to, you go anywhere, you move this up and then you change this value, which is initially 255, you set it to 100. And uh, make sure, border color doesn't matter, but make sure the width is zero, and then make sure the background is anything here that doesn't matter but it has to be zero in this field and the next thing is we just want to make it um, position it so we position it in the top left corner we're gonna change that actually and we're gonna make it have the resolution of our video for a for a um, I mean the width for a HD full HD video we need this 1920 width and as a height we're gonna make 120 yeah, I think that's good. And actually what we're going to do now is we are going to move this um, over here. So we're going to move it over the actual screen. This uh, We'll have to co correct the values here, set x to 0, and make this uh, minus 120. It has to be the value of the height. And what we're going to do now is click the rectangle thing again, um, make it position it at 0x, keep the y value as it is, it doesn't matter for now, make it have the same size, and then just use this, oh wait, no, just use this uh, align item to bottom, just use this to make it be at the bottom. And what we want now is add an animation. We're going to edit the start, which we'll just keep as it is, and we're going to edit the end, which we need to move upwards. And we need to move it exactly, well, x has to stay the same, but y has to move by exactly minus one, 1080 if we have a 180p project. And this is it, so we can change this, we can rename this to uh, line. I'm, I don't think this is a scan line, but it's uh, it's kind of like a cool effect. So what we have now, we have this clip and we can just copy and paste it. Control C, Control V, you know. And then let's see what the result is. Come on. Play back. So it uh, doesn't um, it doesn't pause it just when it goes to the bottom it continues from the top which which is the cool effect of us uh, using two lines instead of one otherwise we would have a short period of time where there is no line on the screen and that's basically it you can just copy and paste it a few more times if you want it for a longer video So if you want to go completely over the top, you could, there's one thing you can do. Just go to Effects List and enter Scan, and pick the Scan Liner tool, 
I mean effect. Drop it on your clip and it will look like a bit like some crazy old TV but way too dark. Still, might be cool for you, so um, take a look at how it looks with and without. So here you can see the result without the scan line or tool. And here you can see a result with the scanliner tool. So pick as you like and have fun making videos. So I hope this was useful. Please like and subscribe and uh, make some cool videos. Ciao!